As mentioned in my previous video, Tiffany Teflon Tahoe, the super mayor of Dalton, super mayor, hey, Tiffany, and supervisor of Thornton Township. I'm also the supervisor of Thornton Township. So when do I have time for little people? Why don't they beneath me? They beneath me. It's really starting to feel the heat. Not only will she no longer have the Dalton Village attorney supporting her in court, but the FBI pulled up again last Friday for the second week in a row. The first time they pulled up to Village Hall in Dalton on April 19th asking for nearly 30 employee records and Keith Freeman was a the target there being indicted just days before. But they pulled up a second time on the super mayor's administration on the following Friday, April 26th. They handed out more subpoenas targeting Tiffany Teflon Tahoe. Okay, somebody knows something. Don't nobody know nothing? Nobody. Nobody? Trustees? Nobody? Somebody knows something. Ain't that right, Jason? I think you know something. Yeah, Jason. Those subpoenas naming two of her companies, asking for all records dealing with those companies, along with her fake organization, and Tiffany's closest comrades, of course, Keith Freeman, Stan Brown, that's a Dalton trustee, Gerald Jones, that's a Thornton Township trustee, the woman she took from the restaurant made her her assistant and appointed her as a Thornton trustee, Carmen. You see what I'm saying? But Andrew Holmes, you are a super loyal person. You are a super loyal person and I commend you. I do. You a clown, look what you got on. She was listed as well and Tiffany's boyfriend. We're going to get into it, but first, take a second to make sure you're subscribed to the channel and click the notification bell for all updates. Won't waste any time, let's go ahead and get into it. Fox 32 has obtained copies of the two federal subpoenas served on Thornton Township on Friday. And there are two big takeaways. Tiffany Henyard is clearly a target of the criminal investigation. And that investigation is growing. Well, overall, it tells me that the investigation is expanding. It's not just focusing on the city of Dalton. Former FBI agent Ross Rice says the subpoenas revealed the burgeoning scope of the federal criminal investigation into Thornton Township Supervisor and Dalton Mayor Tiffany Henyard. One subpoena focuses entirely on Henyard, including two businesses she owns, a restaurant and a property management company, as well as Henyard's political fund and the charity bearing her name. It asks for all records, including personnel files, wage and tax statements, time and attendance, records of work performed, contracts, and checks written to cash. Ooh, Tiffany Teflon Tahoe, you in trouble now. I'm gonna have to stop calling her Teflon because this last subpoena is scraping all of it off. They are directly coming for her right now. Two businesses, a restaurant, a property management company, her campaign, and her fake cancer organization. Okay, so this is my organization. Oh, uh, Tiffany, you cares. The mayor and the township supervisor, who are one and the same, appear to be the primary focus of the investigation. The second subpoena requests a kitchen sink of township records, including financial reports, budgets, payroll records, and ordinances covering credit card purchases, expense reimbursements, security details, and the use of vehicles. Mayor Officer Young put in for 303 it's hours in a two-week like period. 303 like hours. And FBI, y'all need to get this man right here too, the security guard in the blue shirt. Very early on, he was on camera defending the mayor from having to answer any questions. He was very hostile and actively covering up that overtime scam with those officers getting 303 hours in a two week pay period, $13,000 and all this unauthorized overtime. He's a part of the super mayor's loyal gang too. Fox 32 has reported extensively about Henyard's use of a police security detail, which police say has hampered their ability to fight crime. You need security to protect you from questions from reporters? The subpoena also asks for payments and credit card expenditures for a number of township employees, including Henyard's top lieutenant, Keith Freeman, some township trustees, and Henyard's boyfriend, who runs the township's youth violence prevention program. So they're coming for Tiffany's married boyfriend. By the way, she's either messing with married men or men fresh out the pen on the registered offenders list. 
I don't know, maybe both of them will get locked up and they could send letters back and forth between the women's prison and the men's prison. But of course, Keith Freeman, he's listed here. You have trustee Stan Brown, Gerald Jones, and Carmen listed here. All of them accused of helping Tiffany Tahoe hide the finances and cover up the corruption. Hey y'all, this is Mayor Tiffany Henry, Supervisor Henry, the people supervisor. The subpoena also focuses on township travel, including a story first reported by Fox 32 and the Illinois Answers Project about a trip Henyard took to Springfield in 2022 with Dalton and Thornton Township employees, ostensibly to raise money for a cancer charity in her name. We wondered who was paying for all of this, and so are the feds who ask for records of municipal resources being used on behalf of friends of Tiffany Henyard, her political fund, and charitable organizations, including the Tiffany Cares Foundation, which involved a $10,000 donation of taxpayers' money made by the township. It's very broad in the scope. It's very broad in the number of people and entities they're asking uh, for records on. Um, so there must be some serious allegations of wrongdoing that they're trying to get to the bottom of. It's the second round of federal subpoenas. On April 20th, four FBI agents served a pair of subpoenas on the village of Dalton, asking for the personnel files of 29 employees. I was pleasantly surprised. Stephanie Wiedemann is a former township employee turned whistleblower who's been helping the FBI in its investigation. What do we want? A township man. Over the weekend, she took part in a rally of Thornton Township residents calling on Henyard to resign. Wiedemann says the latest subpoenas are a welcome sign. I hope that the township founds, finds a way to be able to recoup the damage that has been done. But I hope that the people that did the damage I mean, there's repercussions for making bad decisions. Through a spokesperson, Henyard declined to comment about the subpoenas. The township has until May 20th to turn over all those records to a federal grand jury that's been impaneled to investigate. Dane Placco, Fox 32 Chicago. Tiffany Tahoe, you heard that? That's the clock. You have 21 days to turn over all the information you and those criminals around you have been hiding. That's three weeks, Tiffany. And Ms. Carmen, I'm assuming you're going to be the one doing all the shuffling. Let's see how loyal city girl Carmen is going to be to the city girl mayor when those folks show up to her front door. Carmen, you're being put on notice too. They already got Keith Freeman. Let's go ahead and get the conversation started. Sounds like we're getting closer and closer to the end here for the super city girl mayor. At this point, the feds are just gathering more evidence to support the charges on the way down, but the mayor is definitely going to be indicted. Who else do you think should be indicted along with Tiffany Tahoe and Keith Freeman? Special thank you to my sister, Beauty Biz. I appreciate you for your support. Also, shout out to our brothers, Charles B and Dark Power. Don't forget that you can support this channel as well. Links to Cash App and PayPal are below. Ladies, fellas, want a balance analysis? Want the truth from a woman's perspective? Then you're going to want to subscribe to this channel and don't forget to like and share. I'm also the supervisor of Thorn Township. So when do I have time for little people? I don't. They beneath me. They beneath me.